Well, guys, I think the media might need to find a new shade of red because they must be running out of shades by now, trying to scare people into buying their net zero crap and double heat wave Cerberus Inferno or whatever claptrap they pulled out of their brown eye this time. <laughs> This, once again, is coming from GB News, but in all honesty, it comes from literally all of them. Last night, though, it was GB News with this absolute clusterfuck of an article that surely they must know makes them look stupid. It's one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. I mean, look at the bloody ratio on the tweet there they shared this article with to see how little people are buying this crap. I ain't fucking buying that. Yeah, many rightly state people pay to go on holiday for the hot weather and this temperature was probably taken from an airport's tarmac while also calling out the ever-increasing shades of red these idiots use. It's literally clown world shit, but it wasn't just GB News like I said. No, Sky News, the BBC and ITV have all been pushing it in recent weeks, including this laughable nonsense that can be easily debunked. It was revealed yesterday that on Monday, Earth had its hottest day ever recorded. And that's not just one place having a high temperature record. That is every single temperature across the entire globe, average for the whole world, having the highest temperature we have ever recorded. And we know it's the hottest it has been for 125,000 years on Earth. That's back when Neanderthals roamed our planet. And this is a snapshot of what Earth looked like on Monday. These are the actual temperatures on Monday right across the planet. Yeah, the absolute wet wipes who can't predict the weather accurately next week can tell us with complete certainty that last week was the hottest day for 125 years, despite ice core saying something very different. So if you start taking measurements from 1850 in the Industrial Revolution, we have been warming. If you take measurements from the medieval warming, we've been cooling. We've cooled about five degrees since then. If you take measurements from the Roman warming, We've cooled about five degrees. That means that if the average temperature back then was much hotter than it is now, the hottest day would have been ridiculously hot, and we have some proof of that. Here you see, on July 30th, 1880, a temperature of 51 Celsius was recorded in Sevilla, Spain. This means, as was always going to be the case, that this worthless sock puppet is literally talking a bag of shit. Yes, I can definitely smell shite. <laughs> Of course, the media discount any old readings claiming that they're not done to the international standard, which is just them saying they don't suit the narrative, so we'll discredit them. You know, we own the science and we think that the world, you know, should know it. That's why none of this is really aimed at us, because it's being done to indoctrinate the young into buying this crap. I mean, I literally heard a kid blame the rain on climate change the other day, despite this being England, where guess what, it often bloody rains. The state and media are neck deep in propagandising kid with the same tactics they used on everyone during the pandemic. They know the kids don't read articles, but the deep red images stick in their minds and that's all they really need with a generation hooked on 15 second TikTok trash. Fortunately, most adults see straight through their crap, but we need the young to do the same, otherwise in 20 years we're all literally fucked. Now, as I said, it wasn't just Sky News pumping out the fear porn alongside GB News, because to finish it off, let's see ITV and the BBC joining in. So what the temperature's going to look like then over the next few days, well, Sicily is going to be uh, really hot with temperatures uh, there potentially reaching 48 degrees, 44 degrees here in Spain, Tunisia, uh, 40 degrees Celsius. Similarly, temperatures uh, in Greece as well. Well, this on the coast of Spain, already people are on the beach. Some people are, are in the sea already this morning uh, trying to, to cool down. And yet sea temperatures are increasing, as data shows last week that the world had its hottest week on record. Climate change is certainly having an impact on people who live uh, in uh, European countries, in hot Mediterranean countries. We... Now, Europe is braced for a record-breaking heat wave this week, with temperatures in Italy set to rocket above 40 degrees and warnings in place for holiday hotspots across the Mediterranean. Across the continent, countries are sweltering. These are the temperatures expected this week, but forecasters believe next week, just as many Brits land on holiday, they could reach as high as 45 degrees in parts of Italy and Greece. Whilst the UK is set to escape this heat wave, the World Meteorological Organization has warned that the Earth experienced its hottest week on record at the start of July as a result of climate change. Yes, I can definitely smell shite. Now, I would love anyone to try and tell me this ain't a coordinated narrative spewed out by these worthless drones at great cost to the scumbags funding it because you know the media ain't doing it for free. Now, come on. 
Let me feel the fibre of your fabric. Yeah, the fact they all sing from the same hymn sheet, despite it making them look ridiculous, should tell you someone's paid good money to push this agenda that both the media and they know is not supported by the public. That's why they need this sort of blatant propaganda like they did during Bat Flu to stop it all falling apart. It's also why they say things like this, because they know they've paid every corrupt scumbag to make sure it keeps on going. You know, we own the science and we think that the world, you know, should know it. Pan the pan the pan the pandemic. Where are